and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carl and Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. I keep telling them we should call it that, and Ben's like, CB boob is way better. I hate that it is catching on. People seem to really enjoy that old doll title. I don't know how it's better, but maybe it's better. Maybe it is. Should we roll the intro? Yeah. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. All right, guys, as ever, let's now press forth with the Wheel of Energy to ben, determine this week's type advantage. But I'm spying ahead at the uh, randomly chosen common chase cards, but I can tell you that people are going to be hoping for lightning bolt energy today, uh, just based on those. But let's see what we land on. Da -da 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 and it will be, in fact, oh, it's salad! Salad energy! Which also is gonna work out common chase card wise, and I think just overall set wise, because there's a lot of grass Pokemon in this particular set. Yes, yes, so I think that we're gonna see lots of bonuses in today's episode. Yeah, uh, no but doubt. you did mention the randomly chosen common chase cards. Do you wanna let them know what they are? Yes, they are. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards will be Rotom, Toad School, and Kilowattrel. Whoa! Yeah. I feel like we've seen plenty and many of each of those cards. We have, and also, Ben, we should switch the skateboards. Pretty easy one today. Yeah, it's just, yeah. And now it's, right sometimes here. it's worse when it's easier. Part of the problem is that we have these little puck lights back there, and if they catch you in the eye, it's an instant migraine. So, get to look forward to that every single time we touch these things. Yeah. On an unrelated note, I sort of have a headache now. Yeah, yeah I bet. I think it is related. Oh. Should we open some cards? Let's do it! We need a box. Box. Box is ready to be brook. Brooked. All right, and our first contestant of the day is going to be Alyssa. This is, uh, again, this is the second pack for everyone being open today. Alyssa's coming into the episode with four points. Man, so I feel like you always get to open first, so I stole it from you today. Wow, you I just switched the whole episode. I just, I, everything is different. That means literally everybody should have gotten a different pack, but instead, oh, fireball energy right, right off the, the top. Gate. So not really uh, relevant in any <clears throat> in any way. The Fubi Coco, the Drowsy, uh, the Nimona, the Lechonk, the Wugtrio, the Judge, the Floatzel, the Grievard, the... But uh, Pavel will score. That will score. Oh! oh, and right out of the gate, the Arcanine EX. So, there man, we go. not a single grass Pokemon in there, surprisingly, but we do have a full art right out of the gate. Uh, worth $1.49. We'll round up to two points. So, so two, three point pack overall for Alyssa. That's going to bring her to seven on the season thus far. By the way, Alyssa from Team Fire Energy, which mm. is currently in second place overall, although currently and still, Team Grass is just utterly. High annihilated and away in the lead so uh the thing about the team competition is that the higher points you get the harder it is to get more points because it's harder to beat your fifth place person yes however in the top five right now four of our top five are literally from team grass and yeah. only one representative from team fire which is tyler gillies overall in second place with 50 points man so if grass wants to score any points their fifth place person is karen with 20 points right now so and they need a grass you need a green Green card with more than 20 points to score for Team Grass at the moment. Anyway, our next contestant is Karen! Karen! Karen comes into the episode with six points. Can she pull a big 20 corner here? I actually think it's Ker Kernak. Oh my gosh. It is Kernak and not Karen. Not Karen. I think there wow. is a Karen in the deck somewhere. You're right. Sorry about that. Kernak McClagan. Kernak McClagan. Another um, fireball. fireball energy. Yep, okay. Let's see. We have the Staravia, the Ralts, the Tandemouse, the Pokegear, the Doxbun, the Scobalon will score, the Coridon will score, the Nimona won't, and the Klefki will. That's going to be a three-point pack for Kernak. My goodness, I'm so sorry I was getting your name wrong. 
These things happen. These, These things, things happen. happen. Anyway, that's nine points on the season for Karnak. Well done. Actually, I guess you don't need a 20 point pack. You need to score above 20 points with your combined total. True. Yes. That's a good point. That's a good yeah. point. Yep. All right. Uh, next up, we've got Josh. Josh. I'm right, pretty Josh. sure I'm reading that right. It's not. I believe like... so. You got the pronunciation yeah. down. A little bit of, little little bit of a guide there. Yep. We got it. We got it. All right. Let's see. I know that we're gonna have at least. Uh, or the rock is pummeling. The rock is pummeling. Okay. The. Um, the Tarantula will score. It will because it is grass type. The Riolu will not. The Magneton, the Clawitzer, the Defiance Band, the Tatsugiri. Well, the Nest Ball scores. That's Don't forget that's right worth there. two points this season. That's right. The Krogunk will not score. Oh, oh, the Illustrator Art Arvid. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing pull. A super good card. Boom. Very jelly on that one. And the Armor Rouge to round off. Man, so let's see. How is Arvin going to score for Josh? Let's take a peek here. Number 249. Does Josh have any points? on the season so far. Josh has four points thus far. Okay, let's see what we're gonna move Josh up to. So uh, the Arvin comes in at one of my all-time favorite numbers, yeah. 1234. Wow, one, two, three, uh, one, four. two, three, four, that's amazing. So Rounds that's 13 points, 14, 15, 16, 17 points total, which is gonna bring uh, his total up to 21 on the season. So that is gonna score points for Team Fire. No, I think it won't by one point. I think Dom is literally currently etching them out for Team Fire with one, two, three, four. You are correct. In fact, yeah. 21 points, yeah. So now Team Fire will jump up from Anthony being the current fifth place person with 13 points. Right, so now, yeah, I guess thinking about about eight points there. Here, let me get a sleep for that card. Oh, absolutely, there we go, the Arvin. Man, that's an awesome, awesome pull. Arvin's very usable card, extremely competitive as well. So you can definitely put that to use, as is the Nest Ball, you can use the Arvin to grab the nest ball from the deck. So there you go. That's pretty good. All right. Next up is oh, is this our current leader, Margo, who's coming Margo. into the day with seventy-seven points on just so, a single pack? Margo has seventy-seven. So, so this is actually a weird situation because Margo is the points leader for Team Grass. Any points that Margo gets. Uh, we'll just increase Team Grass's lead. It's a very, this is a, this this is a big is a flex. Yeah. So Margo's like, no big deal, no big deal. No big deal whatsoever. Oh, no, okay, sorry. Okay. It Ooh. is not, I was like, wait a second, is that a type advantage? It's not. No, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 don't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, we yeah. got the Zangus, the Krogunk, the Dedenne, the Curlia, the Espathra, es Espathra, wow. Oh, thank you, The thank Cacturn you. Get it. will score, the Houndor will not, the Ralts will not, and the Dondozo will. So, Dundozo. after a crazy, 77 point pull in round one. Margo puts up just two points in round two for a total of 79, but it does bring Grass's uh, point lead up by another just, two points. Honestly, it's kind of hilarious because Fire did just make up a tiny piece of ground on Team Grass, and then Margo was just like, nah, nah, nah I nah. don't think so. Undo just a little bit of that right away. Oh man, next up is the Blue Suede, rival of uh, Dalton Green, I have written down here, so Fierce Battle Raging there. Uh, Blue Suede coming in with five points on the season so far. Ben, you've been pulling total fire today. Let's see, let's see. Do Boom, you have man. it in you again? I have no idea. So we got the Metal Energy off the top there, the Flobebe, the Growlithe, the Starivia. Yeah. Nice. Ralts, the Team Star Grunt, the Lucario, the Rock Chestplate, the Flittle will not score, the Toxitricity will not score. Will it? No, it won't. Oh, you're right, it won't. Uh, and the Halucha will score. Wow, just um, a single point pack, it looks like. Just a single lonely. Sad point. I hate to see it, unfortunately. Just a single point. And because they scored five points in the first round, that means the blue suede is probably out of the running for that last place spot as well. So that single point not looking too hot. Uh, next up, though, is John Borg. John Borg. John Borg, who, on the other hand, is looking at a potential last place finish here with a current nine cent single point. Pack. Okay, so we're looking for a we're looking for a, a properly terrible we pack want, here. We want just, bad. Just like as bad as it can be, like a single halucha kind of bad. Right. Right, exactly. I wonder how bad that could have been. Eyeball energy, so no type advantage there. Okay. The flow, but the small of will score oh, though. So that's gonna hurt that you. All oh, the, the balloon scores. The kilowattle scores. Insult to injury. Oh my gosh. And the toxicroak. So instead, it turns out that John Borg had a whole different strategy in mind. The toxicroak, unfortunately, I want to say is one of those bulky X's that might might be worth two points, but I think might it's just be not, worth the just one. Just a single seventy six cents on so, that one. Just gonna be a four point pack overall. But maybe John. Borg see something in the in the in the field that we're not seeing right now. It could now, be. You know? It could and, be. And they're just trying to get themselves in good position for maybe a big Steve, a quality eighth place, maybe even just trying to like go for the the full the full run of things. Anything is possible. Yeah, anything. Anything. 
And except everything. last place. Oh yeah, that's not possible. No. No, yeah. You've 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 sailed that ship. You've sailed that ship, I'm afraid. Next up is Faith. Faith. Faith, who's coming into the season with six points today. Uh, they used to watch the Pokemon TV, but has never played the game. All right, let's see. There's our lightning Another bolt lightning energy. Another lightning bolt energy. Yeah. And we got the Grievard, the Mastiff, the Pawniard, the Wiglet, the Pachirisu. Yeah, nice. nailed it. Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, the King Gambit <laughs> will score. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Poke Gear will, will not. not, but the oh, Magnazone will. Oh, the Man, you are pulling so many big cards today, bro. Know, what is going on? Let's see, how is the Magnuson going to score? Let's see, number 65 also is in that same exact book. Oh, no! So also 76 cents, so round up to one. So just, just two, two points, points on the pack. pack. After all, we'll still sleeve that for you. Absolutely. That's going to bring Faith up to eight points on the season thus far. Don't forget that we also have these amazing sleeves. They're just, Ooh, they're yes. Really nice. They're pretty glorious. Those so. Karai Arms. Lovely. Headed your way. Nice. All right, next up, we have got Offion. I think this is our first team water player so far today. They have got two points on the season. I should mention today that uh, everyone in today's field will be opening at least their second pack. We have no rookies in the field at all today. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. So no Olive Garden gift cards being handed out. No, they are not. There we go. We've got the basic energy, the Fui Coco, oh, no, and the, the Tropius will score. score. Pokeball will not. The Heracross will. will. The Toad, Toad School will score twice, actually, yep. right? Yep, absolutely. Yep, the Pawnard will not, and the Indeedee will score as well. So that's so going to be one, a two, three, four, five points. Five point pack for Offion. Just like that. Not bad, not, not bad. So what bad. does that pick off you onto on the season? That's seven on the season. Seven on the season, okay. Honestly so. not terrible, it's around 30th. Yeah, but also overall. good. So again, uh, as a reminder, the current eighth place spot is 24 points overall. That will score. Uh, and the Big Steve award is slowly moving down the field as Big Steve opened all of his packs in the first episode. Mm. Uh, he is currently in 22nd overall with 11 points. So we're still looking for somebody to have 12 points with their third pack. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen. Next up, Bing. Big, big drama player. We've seen lots of stories unfold. It's Data Rage. Data Rage. Data Rage. Am I up? Yes. I'm going to go for it. Data Rage classically tripped at the finish line in season three going for last place. Pulled a Lugia V, skyrocketed her score up to 15 points on the season after she was playing a perfect one point round. Although, yeah, but then also in season four, yeah. the single pull season pulled 35, 35. points. So, you just never know with Data Rage what's going to happen here. Let's see how she does today. She's got four points on the season so far, and Ben's been pulling hot. So. We got the salad energy as oh well my gosh. right off the she top, the which salad. I didn't even notice. Oh so, yeah, my goodness. So, so, double everything. Let's uh, see. Let's how see. are we going to do? The Titan, the, the Flaffy, Flaffy, the Youngster. The, so, nothing coming into play so far. The Stone Turner will not uh, score. The Grievard will not score. Oh, and the Professor's wow. Research. Oh, my gosh. So, with the multiplier, only going to get two points, I'm afraid. Man, you never know what's going to happen with Data to rage. You really don't. So it looked, looked like they were, maybe it's just a little bit of a bluff. Just trying yeah. to like lull people into a sense of security before we go into that, that big final third pack. No doubt, no doubt. So that's six points on the season for Data Rage. Next up on the table we have 0 4 12 coming into the day with three points. Guys, 0 4 12. What was Rocket's number in Guardians? Oh, P13? P13. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, God, why does that sound so familiar? Maybe it sounds familiar from this show. Could be, that's probably what it is. The Moschiff, the Spupa will score, the Metatite will not, the Greedent, the Crookedow, the Flamigo, the Florges, the Primeape, and the King Gambit will score. So just a two point pack for zero for 12. That's gonna bring them to five on the season. It's our second King Gambit of the day, I believe. Man, I think you're right. So yeah. maybe that's, that's that's another card maybe you'd want for that like single point. Oh yeah, 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 there you go, I yep. That's not, not too much on the, oh, here we go. Oh, this is, uh, okay, we have a note here to open two packs for um, Omega, Omega, a former season champion. We must have skipped Omega in round one. I think that there was an issue with Patreon and the, the data did not get transferred. So we're sorry about that, Omega, but we actually have two packs for you today. So we'll take a peek there. We got the Toad School right off the- Oh man. Although it's a different one. Oh. Does that matter? I think it does matter. Oh dear, okay, well we'll still Wait, we score. might have counted it wrong last time. This is 25. Let me double check what the common chase card is. We have it right here. 
That's 24. This is a different toad school. Wow, okay. So, worth noting. Worth noting that I can't, but it is still grass, still which is grass. still the, the um, type advantage for the day. I think maybe we did make a mistake earlier, though. Yeah, we might have. Um, let's see, with the Fido, the Hypno, the Beach Court, the Sandaconda, the Switch will not score, the Arvin will not score this time, and the Dundozo will score. Boom. So two points overall to Omega to for Omega that pack. To Omega for a round, yeah, for his first pack, and then let's pull up our uh, second pack. All right, do you want to do that one for us? Do, do us the honor. Honors. All right, Omega. Two packs in one day. That's pretty fun. It is pretty fun. Pretty exciting stuff. Pack to pack, back to back. That was pretty clever too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Boom. We got the dark tear drop energy. The Rotom. Oh, there's two Rotoms as well as two oh Toad Oh my schools. gosh. Look wow. at this. Wow. So here is okay, that. That is the chase card. This is the one he, uh, Omega has pulled. So it is not actually going to score a point. That is wow. Back to back like that. What are the back why to would back? They print, pack to pack. Why would they print two common versions of the of a Pokemon in a set? I don't understand. The Nest Ball will score two. The Pachirisu will not. The Flittle will not. The Varum will not. Oh, and the Halucha. So it's a three-point pack right there for Omega. That's going to bring them to five uh, total after the two on the season. And we'll have to go back uh, in post and check that Toad School from earlier to make sure we didn't award a, a rogue extra point. A rogue. We Classic us. That. Yeah. That's us, you know. We're such rebels. Boom. Next up, Ben, is Laser. Laser. Yeah. From Ben Stiller's dodgeball team. Yeah. That's the one from the, the cult classic dodgeball. Yeah, somehow the cult classic dodgeball was somehow able to successfully reroute the word laser in my mind to only be associated with that movie. That is surprising because lasers are so popular in so many other movies. Yes, it feels like they're highly applicable in many different ways. Yeah. So anyway, but that's what I think of when I think of laser. So we are where we are. The small of will score, the wiglet won't, the grievar, the mass shift, the blissey, the jock. The Florigato, the Lucario will not score, the Spirit Tomb will not score, and the Ndidi will score Bam. for a grand total of three points overall. Oh man, and so Laser probably isn't looking for that. They had a single point fifteen cent pack Ooh. over, so that's probably bumping them out of that last place. This is where the last place gets really interesting because you put up all those single pointers in round one, it's like, who can repeat? I know. And then who can repeat again? I know, I know, who especially when you've got there. all the randomly chosen common chase cards, you got the type advantage in there, like to really like weave a Bad score is very impressive, it which is, is why we award it. Exactly, exactly. Next up, we have Shadow Loop, who is uh, coming in at. Coming into the day in fourth place with 35 points. Yes, yeah, so we're about to see uh, Team Grass just get another another boost. Yeah, no matter what, their points are going up here with Shadow Loop's uh, second pack. Can it be now? If Shadow Loop, well, even if they got 35 points again, they still wouldn't pass Margo. Uh, but we'll see what they can do. They got the Eyeball Energy here. Energy Search, Grimer, Bruxish, the, the Cacnea will, will score. score. The Fortress, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff. Grimer, Starly, and the research. So uh, just two points, sadly, for Shadow Loop, but still uh, I, piling I, on for grass. I think that's almost exactly, I think even the professor's research is what Margot pulled. So Team oh, Grass man. is like, they like came in today like in formation. They were like, guys, don't They're mess like, anything up. Just stay consistent. the course, play consistent. You know, you, you know gotta play a doing. good mid game here. Right, exactly. Don't trip at the finish line, hold our lead. Right. All right, Ben, you've got Carly! Carly! Next up, this is Carly's second pack ever. They were a rookie uh, in their last pack. They got three points for that. Ooh. Oh, and they pull the salad energy and immediately take some advantage with the scatter bug. Ooh, the Sprigatito! That's four points right That's there. We're points. all the way up. We'll see the Star Raptor, the Electric, Electric Generator, Generator, the Mankey will not score, the Oinkalone will not score, and the King, King Gambit, Gambit again! Man! There it is. So it's going to be a six point pack. Six point pack. Not so bad. Brings Carly to nine points on the season. Which really is not terrible. Again, it's really, really good position for that big Steve award. Yeah, so. that puts you in a great spot right there. Just needs to get a few points in her next pack. All right, next up we have M Bug. Oh man, M Bug is another person trying to weave their way into last place here. They've got an eight cent single pack. So they are looking for a single point pack right here. That will put them in very good last place contention. Yes, yes, absolutely. So let's see whether or not Mbug can continue to dead bug it. Continue to dead bug it. Continue that grass domination. Fireball, that's what you go. want to see. Okay, the Ralts. The Ralts, we're looking yeah. for no okay. chase cards. No nothing, grass. Nothing interesting whatsoever. Nothing so far, so good. Bombardier, the electric generator. Oh, oh, the Riolo's gonna be points. 
it's, it's a very nice Riolu, though. There's no doubt about it. It, it is, is so, so cute. adorable. And, and then the Houndstone. So, so close, so close, M-Bug, but uh, I guess you get this nice card instead. Unfortunately, I always think about that like as if people are going to be like super disappointed, and then it's like, no, let's still get like, a really cool card. Yeah, that's so, the thing. So uh, if you don't get it, you're still doing pretty good. So the Riolu, uh, Illustrator Rare, will come in at $5.16, round up to six points, wow, plus so one. Wow, pretty good. Seven point pack right there. That's going to be yes. eight points on the season, and you get the Riolu, which is adorable, and I love it. There we are. All packed up for you, and you're sleeved. Bam, nicely done, M-Bug. Enjoy. All right, I, someone is gonna get the double single point here. I'm not sure it's happened yet. Or at least not today, although we have another shot right here. We have John Arbuckle coming in with a single point 11 cent pack from round one. How can they do? Can they get the single point? Let's see John Arbuckle. Let's do it, let's do it, Arbuckle. I believe in you. I believe this pack is awful. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're welcome. Really put all your energy into that belief. Yeah, right? Boom! All right, okay. off to a all good right. start. Yep, yep, off yep. to a good start. Sandal, the Mareep, the Silk Cobra. We don't want to see any grass or chase cards at all. We're doing all. great. We're doing We're great. Oh, we the are looking good. Oh, the Annihilate oh, will score, score, though. Oh, and the Toad School. And this is the right Toad School. Oh, yep. See, there we go. Look, just okay. for comparison. Just comparison. Yep, see? Yep. Boom. And the Quick Quabble. So we are going to see one, two, three, four. Points on the pack, John Ooh. Arbuckle, man. You dodged a lot of bullets, but then at the last second, in came the Toad School to play spoiler. How about that? How about well. that? The Toad School, which has been, it's been such an interesting card for us today. Yeah. It's like really like, I feel like it's, it's bringing my emotions left, right, and center. Right, oh, Dalton Green. Who, this is a Blue Suede's hated rival. Hated. Huge, huge, huge. rivalry here. I'm gonna make sure we make note of that. Yeah, we saw them before the match today, really just kind of like mouthing off with each other and everything. I mean, it was getting it was getting pretty dicey out there. I would not be surprised if we saw a red card show up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I saw the card first. It kind of inspired okay. me to say yeah. it, so I kind of knew it was coming. But anyway, there's a Chansey, which won't score. The Rare Candy, the Fido, the Dedenne, the Cacturn will score. The Mezagoza, the Heracross will Scores. score. The Tanda Mouse will not, but the Go Go, -Go, -Go will. will. And the Coridon. Man, so a four point pack, pretty solid. I forget how Blue Suede did. I know, yeah. Let's go back and take a look real quick Let's to see. see. Blue Suede did only a single point today, so I think Dalton Green. Green takes this round. Oh. Wow. Shots uh, fired. Shots fired. Man. Shots have been fired. All right, that brings Dalton Green's score on the uh, season up to 23. So we're actually pretty good. I like to think that they're like metaphorical friendship shots fired. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Like, you know, it's like, it's it's a friendly rivalry. I mean, like hated, but friendly. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Did you see these up to 23 points on the season? Yeah. For Dalton Green? Yeah, that's going to put... Dalton Green is the top scorer for Team Water at the moment. So wow, that is impressive. impressive. Yes. There you go, more points for Team Water. All right, next up we have uh, Wilhelmina, who's coming in with two points on uh, the day. Although I have it written down that nine cents, so maybe this is just like uh, an in case it's a last place situation. Maybe it could be like a like a randomly chosen common chase card also contributed because when it comes down to that last place tiebreaker, it's only total rare card value that matters. Could not, be something like that. Else. You're right. The Tarantula will score. Pokemon Catcher, the Clauncher, the Tatsuguri, the Sko Villain will score, the Research will score, Palpad will not, and the Palma will. That's going to be a four point pack overall. I feel like we're still, we've had a few good pulls. We have that Illustrator Rare Arvin, but we haven't had like a, a big, big one just yet. Right, I don't we're, feel we're, like. We're still heating up. We're still heating we're still up. Heating that's, up. All. that's all. I mean, look, look how many packs are left. When I was a child, if I was given this many packs, I would have lost my mind. I, yeah, I would have as well. All right, then next up we have uh, Marcos, who is coming in. This is another last placer here. Look, they've got eight cents on the season with one point so far. So okay, okay, so can really they hold on. Not a whole lot going on. We've got the Saviper, the Houndor, the Satoddle, the Magikarp, the Wugtrio, the Judge, the So Floatzel. much. Look at the water. I know, the Dondoza will score. Oh. The Beach Court will not. And the Slowbro. Slow How many water Pokemon were in this one? What one, is two, going two, three, four, five, six? What? That's crazy. Unreal. Also, the slow grow. I think we've said this in every other episode as well. But one of my favorite just pieces of artwork. I from know. This set. Just really beautiful. There is like a sort of deck you can run with this slow bro too that I am uh, I'm keen to try out. I don't think it's like super good, but it's it's a bit of a meme because you can. Uh, there are two different slow bros that are playable right now. This one can suck damage off your other Pokemon onto itself. The other slow bro, if you use its attack while you have one prize card remaining, while your opponent has one prize card remaining, you can take 
two prizes. Oh! And that's just like, that's just the attack. Which means you can pull damage off your other Pokemon onto this one to knock itself out to force your opponent down to that single prize card so the other Slowbro can win you the game. I'm glad you explained really it. Just funny. like to save me, save me, you know, some of the, yeah. some of the, some of the I know you're all like, there, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. I know, I was like, wow. I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say exactly. the same thing. Exactly, it's yeah. so funny. I want, I, I want to try it so bad. Um, next up is Anthony or Eagles SCB, right? Eagles SB. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony is up. Anthony's currently in 21st place overall uh, and is, <clears throat> I believe, maybe who just got pushed out for Team Fire. Oh, man. Um, so maybe Anthony's like, no, 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 no. I want to be on that leaderboard. Let's I, see I want to be up there. All right, so we got the Bruxious. The Cacnea scores. The Cacnea will score. The Sandile, the Mareep, the Medicham, the Quaxwell, the EXP share, the Energy Retrieval will not score. The Char Cadet will not score. Oh! oh the Ballardo and Cologne! There we go. Look at that. I love that. Look at that pink background. That is such a poppin' pig, man. A poppin' pig. That is a poppin' pig. That feels like good title material for old Ethan there. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's going to be 295 for the Oink Cologne, which will round up to... Uh, is it? No. Just 295 I think so. For 234? 234. Wow, I thought that's the same one Big Steve pulled. Maybe it is, I guess so. Anyway, three, four points on the pack. For Anthony, either way, you get the oink alone. The oink Love alone. the card. Which, by the way, I feel like if you were to frame and send a photo to us, we would absolutely display it. There's no know, doubt. As is always the case. It's just right. sort of a standing offer to anybody who wants to stand and take a photo with their card, which has been framed. It must be in a frame. And then the picture mailed to us physically. Hard copy edition. <laughs> it's a lot of requirements. It is a lot of requirements, no. but you know what? This show has a lot of requirements. There's no doubt. We like to make things really complicated over yeah, here. Yeah. Next up is Jesse coming into the day with 15 points. Is this our uh, electric leader? No, it's actually in third for electric. So electric must be doing pretty good. Either way, they're going to score more points for Team Electric, no matter what. Yes. That's it, and 15 points, that's that's pretty solid. You could really move up the leaderboard with that number. Really, so far, I would say that Jesse has had like a great showing. Season two finished with 12 points overall, yep. season three with 12 points overall, season four was only a single pack and 14 points overall. Coming into season five, 15 points. Man. Jesse oh. must be sitting on some good pulls, I know. It must be, it must be. All right, the rock is pummeling, so you love to see that. The Palm mode, the Toad, toad the scoring Toad School. Yep, there you go. The scoring and the scoring Rotom. Rotom! How about that? Wow, back to back, that's pretty fun. The XP show, the Torkoal will not score, the Shuppet won't score, and the Research will. So, kind of a weird combination, but that's three points right there overall. So puts them at 18 points for Jesse on the season. Very but impressive, that, uh, yeah. So 18 points will currently tie you coming into the day for about 12th place overall. So pretty impressive standings. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, next up is Beck Squad, who is coming in with four points on the day. They like to play soccer, run, play games, and now collecting Pokemon cards. hey Hold up. We've come to the right spot. You have, you yeah. have. This yeah. is the show for you. This is the show. All right, let's see here. So we got the... This the, is the greatest the show. Do you think it is? Some people Do you think we could, we could reappropriate that song to be about this game? Probably. I maybe it was always about this game. Maybe it was! It was just waiting to be discovered. Where it's covered in all the color lights! <sighs> I'm excited about this. Magnemite, Energy Switch, Varum, Clauncher, Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Rock Chestplate, the Katie will not score, the Skiddo will, will score, and the Kyle! Oh, the Kyle! Boom! I don't know if I've had a single good pull today, man. You're oh taking all the good pulls. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wasted the good pulls on me. Yep. Uh, 125 is going to be worth $1.07, so two points for the Karaidon. So three, so three point points pack. overall. Seven on the season there for Beck Squad. Sleeve that for old Beck Squad there. Oh man, this, I, I forgot to mention that. Maybe we'll see them later in the episode, but Beck's, Beck also has here a, uh, a heated rival themselves with Becky Borst. Becky Borst. So we'll be on the lookout. The other Beck. The other Beck. Beck Rivals. All right, next up though, we have uh, Wes Levy. Wes Levy. Wes Levy, that's like Wesley and Evie combined into one name. All right, Jay, let's see your big pull. Let's, let's see it. Let's you think this one's it? This could be it, this All could right. be it. Oh boy. If not now, then when? All right, so uh, Wes Levy here has a family of four and on Halloween dressed up as Evie and the three OG Evolutions. Fantastic, all right, you got the, uh, oh, the doll oh, the will doll, score. Yeah, right out of the gate, yep. The eyeball energy. The Torkoal, the Berloom will score, the Kilowatt will score, the Palmy does that. Oh! oh! 
Oh! Okay, this is a, it looks like it's gonna get even better too. We have a Golden Energy and the Magnazone EX of five scoring cards. Very impressive, Man. using like almost every metric available. Um, and this is in fact, yeah, I know that we've talked about this before, but you have to have the little number <coughs> on the bottom for your gold energy to actually score because there have been a couple of sets yeah, recently that but this one does skip. score. That one does score. So yep. let's, let's check them all out. So number 257 is gonna be the... And oh, now if you're wondering, what if this had been a grass gold energy? Would that have counted for the type advantage? Yes, it would. It would. Meaning it's possible to have double type advantage. It is very rare and has never happened yet, but we're all really excited. We are really excited and even more excited uh, because that card is worth $12.35. Wow, so that's 13 points. And then let's check 14, the, 15, 16. And then let's check number 65 on the set. It is going to be worth 76, so just an additional point. So 17 points for Wes Levy. Man, you were right, this was the big pack. I don't know how you always know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's 20 points on the season now for Wes Levy. That might put them in the top 10, depending on how the leaderboard has been shaking out. I think that it will currently, very close with Dalton Green, but both of them are, are doing good things for Team Water yeah. over there, uh, who needed some help coming into the day, for Look sure. Look at this, our first double sleever of the day. Our first double sleever. Very impressive. Oh, also, like, there's nothing more bling than having all of your energy cards be the gold ones. That so. is very fun. You've got yeah. a great collection well underway. Why start working on that electric type deck? My GLC deck has got a, a blinged out grass energy. That, that makes me feel so good. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty, that's cool. pretty good. All right, next up is Sammy, possibly your sister-in-law, but maybe not. It's hard to say. There's, you know, several Sammys in the world, at, and she's least, one of them. At least a few. Yeah. Yes. All right, they've got three points on the season. God, can you imagine if Sammy was doing that? Oh, there we go. Oh! And Double for Sammy right out there of the gate. There you go, boom. Uh, the Silicobra, the yep. Bisharp, the Riolu, the Go-Go, the, Go -Go, oh, the, the Toad Scroll. Okay, yep. Uh, the Cyclozar, the Vitality Band, the Metatite will not score, the Crushing Hammer will not score, and the, and the Houndstone, Houndstone will. will. So it's going to be a six point pack after we do the multiplier. Yep, for that. yep there we go. Bam, nicely done to Sammy, bringing their turtle to nine on the season. So I feel like people are making like bigger jumps. It does seem like, wise. yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing some like big chunk scores go up today. Yes, we are. All right, although this is someone, Smubbles, crowd favorite. Smubbles. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear the crowds. You can hear them chanting the name from Smubbles. states away. Smubbles. Now, this is someone, they must be cheering for low numbers though, because Smubbles has a single point for eight cents. Can Smubbles be the first person to get a repeat single point in today's episode? Boom, we have the lightning bolts. That's what they want to see. That's what Smubbles wants. They don't want the multiplier. We want no grass and we want no chase cards. Oh, oh the there's scroll. the toad scroll though. So it's that that dream is over, I'm afraid. Oh, look at this, another toad school. <laughs> that is crazy. This is like the day of toad school. I know. Oh and my look, gosh. you even got the toad school to evolve into and the skeleton jar. I think this is the first time we've seen this card. I know, I love this. That is like such a cool color palette. That um, is, uh, so see. that has got, um, let's see, at least three scoring cards. All right, it's number so two hundred one. Two hundred one is going to be worth two dollars sixty-seven cents. So round up to three, three, four, five points total for Smubbles. Smubbles. And the crowd goes wild. Absolutely wild. I would be. I'm jealous of this card. This is a. That's a really fun one right that there. That one is, man. Cool, but uh, it hilariously, is it the same? This is the, so this is our chase card for the day. This is, this Toad School is the illustrator art version of this one, but that does not get you uh, the extra chase card point. But this might just be interesting to people to know. So yeah, like this card and these two cards are functionally the same. Yes. Like they both have like the same like uh, HP, same. the same attack and everything. But yeah. like, that's something that would be surprising to me as a kid to realize that like these are, are not, are. They are the same but different. Yeah, this yeah. is this is a rarer version of this card, right? Specifically, yeah. Which is yeah, as a kid, I don't think I would have put that together uh, right away either. Next up, we have Ryan, who's coming into the day with three points. Uh, let's see, the last Pokemon game he played before Shield was Ruby. So wow, uh, lots of changes. Some some stuff has happened in that time. Honestly, I think the thing for me that like eventually I was getting so overwhelmed with all the new Mons. I've always had such a hard time keeping up. Oh god, I thought that wasn't a energy. I was like, did something go wrong here? No, it's just fireball energy. We got the Shroomish, the Mankey, the Greedent, the Crocodile, the Flamigo, the Ultra Ball, Houndoom does not score, and Annihilate does. So just a two-point pack for Ryan. That brings their total to five total 
on the season. Keeping it low down there. There we go. But no worries. Maybe, maybe hoping for like a like a bunch of people to just no no one get the two point. Last could you, place yeah. Finish. Could you imagine if like like last place was actually like like three points plus? We'd have to like really start like finagling things. I wonder where we're currently. Too many people still have only one pack so far to really have a good feel for it. It's hard so. to know. It's hard to know. Okay. All right. All right. Next up though, we have someone pretty high on the leaderboard. This is Jeremy from Team Fire with twenty six points. They're in second place for Team Fire. So any points they get will score for them. There we go. At the moment. We're seeing, yeah, a bunch of our, our like top, top leaders happen to be in this particular group. They do. And we got the Skiddo right out of the gate, which will score. The Quaxley, the Squovit, the Charcadet, the Titan, the Flaffy, the Blissey, the Crocolore. Yep. Uh, will not score. The Bweasel will not score. And, and the, the Quackobble will. So two points. Another, this is like this, this is like the strategy for the leaders today, like just stay consistent. Stay Hit consistent. those two points, take a little bit of a lead, don't worry about it, finish strong, kick uh, it in later. I like we talk about it as if there is the strong possibility that somebody could lose all of their points. Yeah, right. Which today right. we have not come up with a metric for that yet. No, we, the most you could have ever done was lost a point. Yes. Yeah, which was actually still, you couldn't lose it, you could just not get any. You could get zero. Yeah, you could get zero, because you always have that rare card to counter that dreaded V-Star marker. Yeah, but that's gone, so. That's gone. Anyway, next up is Anita. Let's see how Anita's going to do. They have got the lightning energy. Feels like we've seen a lot of lightning energy today. Uh, Shroomish. Shroomish scores. The Mankey, the Tatsugiri, the Scovelin scores. Torkoal and the Magneton won't. The Tarantula will. And the Slowbro will. Another amazing art Slowbro right there. Ba Boom. Just four points there for Anita. Anita had that one point. Now, she wasn't looking at a great last place finish, though, because it was a 25 cent one pointer. So it must have been something a little better. Maybe like a research like, or yeah, something. Yeah, probably a professor's research. Research, I think, in yeah. that range. Um, anyway, moving on, we got Big Jake. Big Jake! Now, Big Jake, another person. They have one point. They've got 15 cents on that point. Can they dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge their way to another single point? I like to no, think... No, they can't. They I can, can already we, tell we, you. We can tell that much. I, I like yeah. to think that Big Jake is part of the big clan headed by Big Steve. Oh. And so it's like it's like the, the inclusion of the, the big on the front is yeah. like how you know that they like they operate together. Right, yeah. yeah. Big, big Jake and Big Steve. Yeah. So hey, we, we'll, we'll, we'll be on the lookout in the future to see if anybody else includes big in their moniker there. Let's so see. The, the Scatterbug, Scatterbug will score. The oh, the Sprigatito scores. Score. Yep. The Toxtricity. The mouse hole, the crocolore, the lechonk will Jump. not score. The star raptor will not score, and the cloth. Cloth, dude, I love cloth. He's so funny looking. That's gonna be a three-point pack for Big Jake, bringing them to four on the season. Never know what's gonna happen down at the bottom of that board. There, it seems like no one has been able to repeat their single point. No, not yet. Which is, but yeah, very surprising. Like I feel like that's usually something that's been going on. So I, I think as we watch the rest of the season unfold. That last point, that last place award is going to be very interesting to keep an eye it on. It is, yeah. So next up we have got E.K. Sko, who has name I think I got right this time. Nailed it. Yeah. You're growing as a person. Wow, thank you. They've got the Metal Energy, the Pineco will score out of the gate. Fubicoco, Drowsy, Toxtricity, Mousehole doesn't score. The Shroomish will score. We've seen so many Shroomish we today. Have, yep. The Bombardier does not, and the Arbaliva does, and it'll score two points because it's rare and grass, so it's going to be a four-point pack total for EK Sko, bringing them to 12 on the season. They are actually 12. Oh, that, that is the only person in Big Steve. Oh, are you right? They've landed directly at 12? Yeah, that is the only person so far this season with 12 points. Wow, that is impressive. So EK Sko probably looking to like just get a single point next time. Yes. So they don't uh, go too far away from Big Steve. Honestly, maybe they would have liked to put an 11 right here. I know, that instead. would have been even better probably with, with one pack left to go, so. But not impossible. Also, EK Sko is amongst the top five for water, so they will score more points for Team Water. Hey, hey, water's getting a little bumped today. There which you is go. desperately needed. Desperately needed. Next up is Bobby. Bobby. Bobby has got two points on the hey, season so Bobby. far. All right, is it me? I think it's you. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm going from Ben's side. Do it. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. You know what's funny is remember how I went first? Yeah. I guess I didn't really throw anything off because I still went from my side. You still went from your side, but yeah. I had more of the pulls today, so. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll see. I went from your side this time, so maybe Bobby is going to be doing good. We got the Rockets pummeling, the Spupa scores, good, right? That's good, good omen, good omen. Good out of the gate. The Zangus will the not. Stone Jenner, Penny, Growl. Oh, oh, the Wiglet! And the Coridon. So let's check that Wiglet right there. Booyah! Love I to see it. I cannot believe that they made a 
Diglett spinoff character. I know. It's so funny because so often they do like regional variants. Like they didn't make this a Paldean Diglett. It's just Wiglet. It's just Wiglet. No relation. Does it live underwater? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that Wiglet's gonna come in at $2.70. We'll round up to three, three points or overall. five points on the pack for Bobby. And we need a sleeve for that Wiglet. Oh, yes, of course. Bobby. That's Bobby with two Ys, if you couldn't tell. By the way, we're saying it. Which is the correct pronunciation. Yes, there you go. Yeah. All right, good job to Bobby. All right, next up is Lady Starlight. Okay, maybe Lady Starlight can be our single point champion of the day. I know, I feel like, I, I'm like, I'm pulling for it more than I expected. Although this is, this is maybe what you want out of the game. The rock is pummeling energy. And it, to me, at least proves that the game like does not, it like it does score you points, even if sometimes you get a single point. Right. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, here goes Tarantula, so, uh, Tarantula. which is to say, because you couldn't tell, Lady Starlight came in with one point. Then we get at least two points now, at least three points now. Yeah, the Tandem Mouse. Will not score the oh, the Scatterbug, scatterbug does, and, and the, the Maridon does. So that's gonna be, what, a four point four pack Four point, overall? yep, overall. Mm -hmm. All right, so not a single, single pointer has repeated so far. That Which is wild. I, this, I mean, if anything, it's like, it makes me feel like the game is doing well that that's happening, but I also want to, I want to see it for somebody. I know someone's gotta get last place, you know? All right, next up is Fran. Fran. Fran, who has two points coming into the season. So let's see how Fran does here. How are we gonna do? Oh, eyeballs. I feel like we're due for another um, another salad We here should be before that. We're, we're so close to the bottom of the barrel. The Mabostiff, the Medicham does not score, the Clauncher doesn't, and, and the, the Armor Rouge. Rouge will. So just a repeat performance for Fran. Two points on the day as well to bring their total to four overall. Four on the season, okay, all right. Playing a consistent game. I, I mean, maybe honestly at this point in time, maybe that's gonna be more competitive for last place than we think. Maybe we think, yeah. I, I, I was convinced that you would get like a, a, a two or three pointer would uh, win last place, but so far I'm not, it doesn't seem like it. All right, next up we have got Lauren. Lauren, Ooh, hang on, there we go. The fireball energy off the top there. All right, we got the Drifloon, the Citadel, yep. the Varum, the Magikarp, the Florges, the Muck, the Vivalon will score, the Magneton will not score, the Mastiff will not score, and the Meowskarada will score too, because Boom. it is both type advantage and rare. Yeah, so we got three points again for Lauren, bringing uh, her total to six on the season. Uh, Lauren has a Name of the Wind themed work from home office. That sounds awesome. I love that. Man. In case you haven't read Name of the Wind yet by Patrick Rothfuss. Maybe it's Master it. Lauren. Oh! That'd be amazing. Do you think so? Uh, probably. Now that I mention it, yeah, definitely. I love it. Yeah. I love it! Master Lauren plays Box Breakers. Who knew? Who knew? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Next up we have Sierra. Spelled out like that for me. Sierra. 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 With only two points on the season. So once again, I mean, there's there's a distinct possibility that this could be last place contendership. Oh man, okay, and this is a cool note, is that uh, Sierra is teaching her K through fifth grade after school care program how to play Pokemon, so the cards that we send go to those kids. Yay! That is awesome, let's see. Oh, we got the teardrop energy here. The energy retrieval, the slow poke, the watch roll, not the kill a watch roll. Haven't seen many of the chase cards today. No, the small, small scores. scores we go? Go? Oh, oh, look at that! The team Star Grunt is heading to some after school kids. Man, that's a really fun card. Big Steve likes to play with cards like this. Let's see, what's the number on that one? That is going to be 242. 242. $3.45. Oh, we'll man. Round up to four. Okay, so for five points on the pack. Yeah. For uh, Sierra, that's going to be seven on the season, but you get the full art team uh, Star Grunt, which is awesome. I have a feeling that's going to be a new student favorite. Yeah, right. Who wants to play with this team Star Grunt? Everybody. Much sparkle, shimmer, shimmer. Indeed. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> All right, we're coming down to the wire here, Ben. Next up, we have Dakota. Dakota. Oh man, Dakota. Who, of course, we play games with every month here on Super Carlin Gaming. Has a single point as well for nine cents. Just can Dakota point. be the single point hero we've all been waiting for? Let's see. Let's see. What she, what can she do? There's the teardrop, the croc rock, yes. the manky, mm -hmm. the squat. Nope. Okay. Catch the kid scores. Yeah, the Zangoose, the Stone Journer, the Penny, the Wiglet will not score, the Floette oh, will not, not score, score, and, and the, the Cyclozar. So two points for Dakota. Goodness uh, my gracious. Someone has got to do it. And I think that was our last chance for the day. Yeah, everyone else has got more than a single point left. Well, Ben, it's not going to happen. No one's going to get that double that double single today. I, I am shocked. Uh, I mean, I'm happy about it, but you know, 
this is how it goes. Next up is Brick Frog. Brick Frog! Hmm. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of Crazy Frog. There is a sentence in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where they're describing some ships from space and they say, they hung in the air, they hung in the air exactly the way bricks don't. <laughs> I always loved that description, like, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get that. I know exactly the way in which bricks don't float. Anyway, teardrop energy. Pineco is going to score. The Flittle will not. The Fukuoko drowsy. Dr so much eyeball. Oh, the Nest Ball, oh, the Nest ball scores two points. The Wiglet, the Crocodile. Oh, and oh, the, the Gardevoir. Gardevoir. That might be worth some points. This is such a good card. Maybe the best card in this uh, set, honestly. From a competitive standpoint? Competitive wise, okay. yes. Uh, so see. it's going to be at least three plus whatever the Gardevoir is worth. Let's see, number 86 on the set is going to earn you $8.03, which will round up to nine. Nine and plus 11. three is going to be 12 points. Yep. Man, that's going to be up to 14 for Brick Frog. Well, let's grab a sleeve yeah, for that. Yeah, definitely for that. That, uh, that Gardevoir, super duper good. Really powerful card. Uh, gonna, if you're interested in competitive play, you're off to a good start there, Brick Frog. And now, we are down to our final pack of the day. It's Elizabeth. It's the final pack now. Can Elizabeth, I feel like at some point, we're gonna have the last pack also be the best pack. At some point. At some point, and maybe St that point is right now. Statistically. All right, so the Rock is Pumbling, the Nimona, yep. the Lechonk, the Flabebe, the Growlithe, the Florges, the Muck, the Vivalon will score, the Satoddle will not score, the Rotom nope. will not because it's not the Wrong right Rotom. Rotom and the, the Reverum. Today is not the day, I'm afraid. Today is not the that day. That is just going to be a two points, which is also what Elizabeth came into the day with, meaning they have four points total. Well done, Elizabeth. Uh, fun fact about Elizabeth, she likes to sew quilts. Hey! So maybe you can make a uh, Pokemon card themed quilt. That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. Man. I'd love to see that. Challenge extended. Yes, absolutely. There you go. Goodness gracious. Well, what a fun and interesting day. I feel like uh, like we definitely, it seems so often like certain episodes have like an emphasis. It's like everybody's like competing for like the big Steve award or everybody's competing for like eighth or something. Yeah. Today seemed like a big conversation about that last place award. It and did. I, I'd be so so what are the most common energy types in this set? It seems like we've seen a lot of psychic. There was a lot of psychic, a lot of water in a few packs. Yeah. I really thought grass was a more uh, prominent player, but I don't think it is. It seemed like there was a lot of um, electric as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like like really when it came down to it, people were throwing up pretty decent points without that many grass types showing up. Yeah. Which means that like with that, the spin of the wheel could really do a lot of things for that last place competition. So keep a watchful eye on there. Yes, on the flip side, if we, if we ever land on metal, there's like almost no metal cards in this set so at no, all. No changes at all. No, basically none, unless you get the Varum or the Reverum. I think that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Very, very yeah. unsung heroes. Uh, that and Dragon. I yeah. Feel, does, th that but we don't have a Dragon on the um, oh, so that's on the it. board, so it doesn't matter. So it won't happen. It yeah. won't happen. Anyway, guys, as ever, thank you so much uh, for for uh, tuning into today's episode. If you would like to get on the wait list, you can do so by checking out the link in the description down below. But otherwise, we are currently sold out for box breakers. So we also just want to extend our gratitude to everybody yes, who has gone that. over to Patreon and signed up uh, to support the show. We have so much fun producing this for you guys. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.